Welcome to the CISA course by Mahbub's Training Base. Updates to CISA Review Manual CRM. The 27th to the 28th edition 2024 updates to the CISA Review Manual bring significant enhancements to ensure it aligns with the latest industry standards and exam content. These updates are designed to provide detailed explanations and practical insights making the study process more effective and engaging. The manual has been updated to fully reflect the new job practice update. A thorough review was done to remove outdated or obsolete terminology and technology. Case studies and self-assessment questions have been reviewed and updated. Additionally, full color has been added throughout the review manual and the layout style has been modernized. Now, Let's discuss the changes and updates for each domain in the CISA review manual one by one in detail. In the transition to the 28th edition of the CISA review manual, domain one, information system auditing process has been significantly updated to reflect modern practices and technological advancements. The ITAF, Information Technology Assurance Framework content in section 1.1.4 has been updated to the latest fourth edition standards, ensuring alignment with current IT assurance and audit practices. The business processes section under 1.2 has been integrated into IS internal audit function, business application controls, and risk-based audit planning sections, providing a cohesive view of business processes and controls. The types of control section under 1.3 has been expanded and moved to 1.4 in the 28th edition. It now includes detailed discussions on internal controls, 1.4.1, business process applications and controls, the relationship of controls to risk, 1.4.4, and prescriptive controls and frameworks, 1.4.5, offering a comprehensive understanding of controls within organizational contexts. The risk-based audit planning section has been revised and moved from 1.4 to section 1.3 in the 2024 edition. This updated section now includes additional business process information, ensuring that audit planning is more integrated and aligned with the organization's strategic and operational goals. The types of audits and assessment section, previously 1.5, is now section 1.2 with new topics like control self-assessment, 1.2.1, and integrated audit, 1.2.2, reflecting current practices. Audit project management, FLE 1.6, is now section 1.5, including agile audit methodologies, alongside traditional approaches for greater adaptability. Data analytics, initially 1.8, has moved to section 1.7, now addressing the impacts of AI, and ML on audit practices for advanced insights. Lastly, the quality assurance and improvement of the audit process section, previously 1.11, is now section 1.10, updated with modern methodologies and tools to enhance audit quality. Following the updates in domain one, domain two, governance and management of IT in the 28th edition, 2024, has also undergone significant changes to align with modern IT governance practices. In the 27th edition, IT governance and strategy, section 2.1, and organizational structure, section 2.4, were separate sections. These are now combined into section 2.2, titled Organizational Structure, IT Governance, and IT Strategy, which includes a new focus on the three lines model to clarify roles and responsibilities within risk management and governance. The section on maturity models, previously section 2.7, has been removed as a standalone topic. Instead, maturity model concepts are integrated throughout the manual, providing more contextual understanding. Privacy principles, formerly under section 5.2, are now significantly updated and included in section 2.6, titled Data Privacy Program and Principles, reflecting rapid changes in data privacy standards. 
data governance section 4.6 and data classification section 5.6 from the 27th edition are now combined into section 2.7 titled data governance and classification this integrated approach offers a cohesive understanding of data management within IT governance the section on IT performance monitoring and reporting previously 2.11 is now divided into sections 2.10 and 2.11. These sections are expanded to include key performance indicators, KPIs, key risk indicators, KRIs, and key control indicators, KCIs, providing detailed guidance on IT performance monitoring and reporting. Lastly, quality assurance and quality management of IT, previously section 2.12, is now section 2.11. This updated section includes a new subsection, Operational Excellence, emphasizing high standards in IT quality management. Following the updates in Domain 2, Domain 3 Information Systems Acquisition, Development and Implementation in the 28th edition, 2024, has also been revised, although its weight remains unchanged. The key update in this domain pertains to Section 3.3, which covers system development methodologies. In the 27th edition, this section provided foundational knowledge on various methodologies used in system development. In the 28th edition, this section has been updated with new figures and expanded content. Specifically, it now includes detailed information on DevSecOps and iterative development. These updates are essential as they reflect the latest advancements and best practices in system development, ensuring that CISA candidates are well-versed in contemporary methodologies that enhance efficiency, security, and adaptability in system development projects. Following the updates in Domain 3, Domain 4, Information Systems Operations and Business Resilience in the 28th edition, 2024, has undergone significant changes reflecting the latest practices in IT operations and resilience. In the 27th edition, the section on common technology components, 4.1, covered various fundamental IT components. In the 28th edition, this has been updated and is now referred to as Section 4.1 IT Components. Several notable changes include, 1. The networking subsection, previously part of Domain 5, has been moved to this section, consolidating related topics. Two, outdated or now common information has been removed, ensuring the content remains relevant and focused on current technologies. Three, the RFID section 4.1.4 has been updated to 4.1.5 and is now titled Wireless Communication Technologies making it more inclusive of various wireless technologies beyond just RFID. The section on end-user computing, 4.5, has been updated and expanded in the 28th edition. It is now section 4.5, end-user computing and shadow IT. This update reflects the increasing importance of managing end-user computing environments and the risks associated with shadow IT, where users bypass official IT channels to use unauthorized software devices. A new section, 4.9 Operational Log Management, has been introduced in the 28th edition. This edition highlights the growing importance of managing and analyzing operational logs for security, compliance, and performance monitoring purposes. Operational log management is crucial for detecting and responding to security incidents ensuring regulatory compliance, and optimizing IT operations. Following the updates in Domain 4, Domain 5, Protection of Information Assets, in the 28th edition, 2024, of the CISA Review Manual, has undergone significant changes to better reflect current practices and technological advancements in information security. Redundancy has been eliminated, and technical control information has been greatly revised and updated throughout the domain. The section on physical and environmental controls remains as section 5.2.
but now includes updated content with ICS, industrial control systems. Information moved to section 5.2.3. Identity and access management, previously section 5.4, is now section 5.3. This section has been expanded with several new subsections covering zero trust architecture, 5.3.3, privileged access management, 5.3.4, Identity Governance Administration, 5.3.6. Identity as a Service, 5.3.7. And Digital Rights Management, 5.3.11. The section on Network and Endpoint Security, previously Section 5.5, is now Section 5.4. This section has been significantly expanded with new subsections to address modern security concerns and technologies. The new subsections include Network Attached Storage, 5.4.7, Unified Threat Management, 5.4.13, Network Segmentation, 5.4.14, and Endpoint Security, including Endpoint Detection and Response, EDR, and Extended Detection and Response, XDR, 5.4.15. A new Section 5.5 on Data Loss Prevention has been introduced in the 28th edition. The Section on Encryption and Encryption Related Technologies previously section 5.7, is now 5.6. This section has been expanded to include new topics reflecting advances in encryption technologies. The new sections include quantum cryptography, 5.6.6, homomorphic encryption, encryption 5.6.7, and Kerberos, 5.6.11. The section on security awareness training programs, previously 5.12, is now section 5.10. This section has been expanded and updated to cover the latest practices in security awareness and tra training. The section on information system attack methods and techniques, previously section 5.13, is now section 5.11. This section has been expanded with new subsections to cover additional attack methods, including ransomware 5.11.5, Incident Response Management, previously Section 5 on 16, is now Section 5 on 14. This section has been expanded and updated with new subsections to provide more detailed guidance on incident response. The new subsections include Incident Response Process, 5.14.1, Incident Response Plan, 5.14.3, and Security Orchestration, Automation, and Response, so are 5.14.4. Finally, the section on evidence collection and forensics, previously section 5.17, is now section 5.15. This section has been expanded and updated to include the latest methodologies and tools for evidence collection and forensic analysis.